This is my door. Um, unlike most doors, it has a lovely vinyl coating. In addition, it has an electric unlock system. Here we have a servo of Futaba S3003, and its role is to lock the door whenever it is powered up, and whenever a card is swiped, it will unlock the door. However, after doing this, it's limp, so it can be fought with a key if necessary, because I did not want to be electronically locked out of my room. This computer here runs a little Python program I wrote in like 10 minutes, and its role is to process the USB input from the card reader, which just sends plain text um, and hits enter for you, which is kind of cool in that it's very easy to interface that way. And it checks the entry against a database of, you know, good strings, and if it matches, it tells the Teensy here to unlock with the servo. Um, communication was made extremely simple. While typically one might communicate with the microcontroller directly using processing or whatever their favorite software is for their favorite controller, um, I opted to use the caps lock indicator LED um, as a means of general purpose output. Um, by oscillating that, I can have it basically act as baby's first cereal. Not, not quite as nice as that makes it sound. But basically, whenever caps lock goes low, um, this understands it should unlock the servo. So caps lock is held high by the software, and it briefly goes low when I swipe the correct card. Uh, in order to lock the door, there's a button up here, which used to be an eye hole, uh, but we unscrewed that and mounted a button here instead, and made the button light up, which is kind of cool. The LEDs. The button is actually a hot glue stick, which is a very good light tube if you surround it. And this way. This cuts power to the microcontroller and servo for two reasons. Number one is so that it resets the controller, um, which puts it in the lock state on boot up. However, the uh, main reason it was actually there is a safety precaution. Should the servo decide that it wants to be in a spot and stay there, it will be very hard to fight the key, you know, because the servo is active. So this cuts power to it uh, on unlock. So that way, if I need to use a key and it's, uh, you know, malfunctioning, I don't have to fight the servo with a key. I can just open the door. So that's how I can return the door to normal settings. And that's very easy to open. So I'll, you know, show off the locking once more. Button lights up here. I press it and it locks. Cool. And I use this and it unlocks. And the computer's all like, okay. And every time someone swipes a card, um, failure or not, it logs what the string was, and it also logs the time and whether or not it was a success or a failure. So I can tell if someone's trying to get into my room with their ID, because it stores their university ID right on the card. So, you know, I have no intention on looking into this, but, you know, if someone was actually trying to do something funky, it's not hard to look it up. So, yeah, that is my door here. And it is super advanced, I suppose.